Hello HUD house hunters. You were just checking out the view at 8357 Hames Drive. For those of you who are looking for a mountain view at an early price range, this is awesome. This house was built in the 2000 era and it's going for 165 Virtually nothing wrong with it, but it's in a neighborhood that currently supports 190,000 plus. I think you're really going to like what you see on the inside, but I thought we'd open this up by having you check out the amazing view. Let's take a look inside because the winds pick it up. As we enter 8357 Haynes Drive, you have a nice great room which is a two-story. Now I moved several of these properties when they were brand new in about 2005-2006 era. I've sold the floor plan, it always sells really well. Um, I think a lot of the allure of this property is this great room. Because you walk in, you've got open high vaulted ceilings. Um, and you know, just a lot of space here. So this is where you're going to put your living room furniture and things like that. Um, back behind you, we're going to find the fireplace area. So it's got kind of a fireplace island, which is a nice touch, and this is a gas fireplace based on the era. And then we enter into the kitchen. Now, the neat thing about this kitchen is all the appliances seem to be here except the micro hood. So that's one minor addition that you have to add. One upgrade that this homeowner bought, which is a nice add-on, is the 42-inch cabinet. So that's a nice plus. These are the oak cabinets, but they're the larger size. So when I talk about 42-inch, I mean that they're longer than your typical entry-level cabinet. Below us, we have linoleum floors. Uh, which looked to be in pretty good shape, and again, being built in about 2004 or 2005, we're not expecting to find a lot of problems with this house. Just an excellent value for somebody who wants to pick up some instant equity. Over this way, you'll find the uh, washer and dryer on the way out into the two-car garage. So open the door to the garage, you can see it's bright and open and airy. Plenty of room for both cars, without a doubt. Before we head upstairs, I just want to show you on the main level as you walk in the front door, you'll find the half bath. Um, so your pretty standard half bath, all the fixtures look to be fine. And with that, we're going to head upstairs and take a look at the upstairs. Now as we're heading upstairs, I want to point out the location on this. Now we're at Constitution and Peterson, just east. So for those of you who are going to Peterson Air Force Base every day, this is an excellent location for you. Uh, for those of you who just need to be close to the Powers Corridor or even heading down into Carson, it's not a very difficult commute to just hop on to Powers from here or hop on 24 from here to get you where you need to go. So just to give you an idea on where we are. Back here we have three bedrooms. We're going to start with the secondary bedrooms. And again, given the era, this thing is just in tip-top shape. It's, it's surprising to me that HUD's got this listed so cheap because 165 for a house in this era with this amount of square footage is a pretty awesome deal. Um, nothing to do with the bedroom, really. Usually I have something to suggest, but the carpet looks great, paint looks fine, and obviously everything's new and nice in here, so there's nothing to worry about. Over here we have the kids' room. Only thing in here is maybe you go back to a neutral color, but in general, the house is not old enough for them to have done any serious damage to it. So it's a light blue color now. You might paint that back neutral, um, clean up the minor splotches on the carpet, and you're off to the races. Nothing to worry about. Finally, the uh, secondary bathroom. This has got your standard linoleum floors. Um, it's got a, a basic vanity, and it's got the four-inch tile surround. Um, all of which looks to be in impeccable shape. I wouldn't worry about having to repair anything in this section of the house. I think this is good to go. And then finally, we're going to check out the master before we see the basement. And I love this master bedroom. This is the biggest room upstairs, as a master should be. It's got an attached bathroom um, right off back here, so it's your standard bathroom setup. Um, for those of you who like to take long baths, this has got a huge garden tub. So that's a nice plus here. You just sit in there and soak. And then you've got a vanity slash desk system right behind me here uh, for getting ready in the morning. As uh, far as closet space goes, it looks to be like there's plenty of that. And then again, you have your, your toilet off to the side here separately. A lot of great square footage on this, 1,400 or so square feet upstairs. Plus we have the basement to go see, which is unfinished. So we're going to head down there now. So we're down in the basement at 8357 Hames. Now this basement is roughly 700 square feet, uh, adding to the 1400 square feet we have upstairs for a grand total of 2100 square feet built in 2004 
for only 165 grand. Very exciting stuff. This is an excellent property and a great value. Um, as is required by code, the bathroom is plumbed in right here. So the way the builder had envisioned this is you'll probably put a three-quarter bath in. So this is your either shower stall um, or you could do a, lot, a tub if you did it this way. And then, of course, your sink and with the appropriate drain system and toilet. So this is all set up to put the bathroom in when and if you decide to do it. If you are going to put the bathroom in um, and bedroom, my suggestion would be to put the bedroom back here. Uh, by code, we have to have a window. So this is where the bedroom is going to be located. So you'll kind of walk in, uh, you'll put a door to make this an official bedroom. And uh, you'll notice over here, this has a sump pump, which is required by code as well. Uh, the way we do this is we usually frame in a closet right around this so you don't have to look at it. But that's basically where the bedroom is going to be located. As we head one more side over here, you'll notice again, 2004 built, so nothing to worry about. But just so you can see it, we've got a newer, nicer furnace over here. And then, of course, the adjoining water heater all vintage with the house, so something we should obviously get inspected, but not something we're concerned about. Let's check out the backyard and we'll get you out of here. So we're heading out back at 8357 Hames, and um, just a few things to point out, air conditioning, not a feature you're expecting in a property in this price range, but it obviously includes that. This is a nice backyard. I mean, it's tons of space uh, given the suburban lot that we're in, just enough for your outdoor backyard barbecues or having a good place for the kids to play. So um, needs a little bit of landscaping work, but something you can take care of next spring when it'll make a little bit more sense. So let's go ahead and wrap this up. We are currently at 8357 Hames Drive. Now this is in Colorado Springs, Colorado. The zip code's 80951. It's in the Claremont Ranch subdivision, which is located just east on, of Peterson and Constitution, east on Constitution, almost to Mark Scheffel. This house is currently going for $165,000 and it features three bedrooms, two and a half baths and over 2,100 square feet of living space, 1,400 of which is finished. This neighborhood comfortably supports $190,000 to $195,000, guys. So picking up a perfect house with $30,000 worth of built-in equity is an excellent deal. For those of you number crunchers, you're looking at a payment of between $900 and $1,000, give or take. You couldn't rent a house of this caliber for that price, so that's a pretty sweet deal. And because this is a HUD repo, it is eligible for the $100 down payment and the $8,000 tax credit if you can get in on it before that expires. I need you to call me as soon as possible. Numbers at the bottom of the screen. Love to show you this property. I think it's an excellent deal. Thank you for tuning in. We'll catch you on the next deal.